Today's episode of Mr. Anime might run a little bit longer than the usual five to six minute run time. That's it's fine, I got some time to kill. It's a special episode. And by the way, I'm Mr. Anime. Well, that's my prison name anyway. A show for you. You know, he seems like a really nice, well-adjusted man. I wonder why he hadn't done many videos as of late. Foreshadowing. Fun fact, he was actually arrested for being an anime fan. Everything else was just coincidental. Welcome everyone to Mr. Anime Reviews. You're all going well, to die at the end of this video. My last review, it's been well worth the wait, I hope, because today I'm reviewing Welcome to the NHK. I have never had a show that has been more requested than this. Like, even Melancholy of Harvey Suzumiya and uh, Gungrave. You know, Gungrave, you say? Huh. Uh, weren't requested as much as this. So I decided to check it out. I watched some other anime reviewers of it, you know, do, do their reviews, and I was like, I wonder how I would look like wearing their skin. Good. So here we are with Welcome to the NHK. And I'm not exactly sure how to tackle this type of review. Should I do it while sleeping or guns the blazing? It doesn't seem to really convey the message that I want to get across to you. I think we got your message quite clear. Tatsuhiro Seito lives alone and is an extreme recluse in a tiny efficiency apartment in Tokyo. He dropped out of college. He apparently has no future. Foreshadowing. And he is so reclusive that whenever he's around people, he just kind of freezes up like, <gasps> Bang. Oh, they're not. Oh, they're not looking at me. Are they looking at me? Are they laughing at me? I need to kill them all. His problems might just be answered when a mysterious girl comes calling to his door, named Nakahara Misaki, and decides to teach him how to be social. Just like me. And tells him to meet her at a local park. Out of curiosity, he decides to go, and she tells him to sign this contract that binds him as her student. It doesn't really make any sense unless you've seen the show. Oh, you mean like all anime? Nowhere ...and knock on a guy's door who is overwhelmingly, exceedingly creepy. You're one to talk. ...offer to train him, you know, in social standards. So, if you can get past that premise and actually get settled into what the show is trying to say... Then you'll have my permission to die. ...enjoyable experience. Next door, a super nerd, Karo Yamazuki, lives next to Sato. And it just so happens that they know each other from back in high school. And the shooting range. He saved Kamazuki one time from some bullies. Well, he didn't really save him. He actually got his ass beat too. But they knew one day that sweet vengeance will be theirs. He has pledged his loyalty to Sato. So, in episode 4 or 5, when Sato finally realizes that the guy... Are you going to give me an entire plot summary or are you actually going to review the thing? They reunite very well. Zoom! Welcome to the NHK, differentiating the manga from the anime. Like, uh, Sato, the main character, he, uh, he has a big problem with drug use and... Man, you don't want to mess up with those drugs, that stuff will kill you. And the girl that tries to, you know, teach him about social standards, she has a different attitude and just doesn't seem to be quite as mentally unstable as she appears in the anime. You know, I would assume that you know something about mental unstability. Different from the anime of Welcome to the NHK. But it's not different in a negative way, it's just a different way to read the story. So is that what you said to the cops? versions of Welcome to the NHK, although they have very similar outcomes between the manga and the anime, but you have two versions, and you can get a much better, well-rounded picture of these characters if you put the two together. I think that's called the Rule 34. Sato believes that an evil organization named the NHK is trying to make an army of displaced people and he thinks that he's one of the people that are being thrown into that army. So you can clearly see just the mentally warped decline of Tatsuhiro. You know, the guy, the guy's just not right. This is fucking, this is fucking not right. No, 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 this joke's too easy. And I've got him beat. I have three computers. And no one to share them with. But anyway, that's, that doesn't exactly make me look good. Well, neither is murder, but then again, that's just me. She has this outward appearance, like she is, uh, she's in charge and she's on top of things, and she is in control of Tatsuhiro, and, you know, she seems so confident and so social. But underneath you can get this just element of terrible sadness and loneliness. And thirst for blood. The best, if I had to, you know, say one quote, if you took one quote from this entire, uh, entire review and quoted me on it, I would have to say... Kill your family. Welcome to the NHK 
is like being at a pity party, but you don't know you're there. Um, the sadness and loneliness and depressive overtones are just going all over you. You know, they're just hitting you in the face. Ow, 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 overtones. Oh, depression. Bullets, ow. Loneliness got me from the, got me from the left. And you'll be getting it in the back in prison. Isn't it just kind of infuriating? Oh God, he's angry, ah! Um, like up to your door and be like, I'm going to teach you how to do this. Like, can you imagine what would happen if somebody like came up to my door and they were like, You're under arrest. Hey, you don't know how to review anime. You're gay. And you're lowly. You're a faggot. Oh God. Your humble opinion. Where are you running my- Oh God. On a technical level, every You know, that bit would have been a bit funnier if you, you know, didn't really do any of that. Such is the intro song. I always coined the famous phrase, I put it on my mp3 player. And then I cocked my gun. But this song is no exception. It is on my mp3 player. And I really like the abstract opening and all the colors. Especially the color red. Simple-minded and stupid. But, I, mean, I don't, fuck that. I don't care. I don't care what they say. I don't care what you say, Billy! Yeah, you're pretty stupid. And don't look at me like that. And then we never heard from Billy again. I haven't seen any dubbings of it, and I honestly don't really plan to. I thought the Japanese cast did just a perfect job. I really enjoyed it. Hey, if you ever think about going back to this anime reviewing business, I could recommend uh, this one anime, um, Dead Man Wonderland. It's about um, this guy, apparently everyone that he ever knows and loves is dead, and so he was sent to, to prison for it. And weasel through the comedy's web, you see the dark tunnel of just sadness and well, me underneath. But it doesn't mean that Welcome to the NHK is an uh, unenjoyable experience. I'd have to say that out of any anime I've seen this year, this one made me think the most. And not while I was watching it, but you know, I have a feeling that this guy really likes to touch you, Chia. That's an anime character that killed his family. Yeah, I'm good. So, for me. I can't give it a perfect score, and the only reason I can't is because it's it's just not a hundred percent my type of show. There wasn't enough killing for my taste. Episodes that seemed like they didn't belong, but but no no, the show is still very very enjoyable and watchable in my mind. I have to award Welcome to the NHK an extremely superb rating of a nine out of ten. That's my accuracy ratio. For me, I'll see you next time on Mr. Anime Reviews. Well, I guess we all learned a valuable...